Hello everybody, today we have got a bonus mail day. It's actually not really a mail day, but I decided to order a package from my local game store. And uh, as you can see, we have got some freebies here. That's not very relevant, but you know, they have these KMC orange and these are literally free. I just got them for the bonuses, just like this one. So I didn't pay anything extra for that. So the interesting story with this store is that this store has existed for quite a long time. I think it's the oldest store here in Russia that sells singles because, well, we have plenty of stores, but this one carries the largest inventory. And the thing is with this store is that uh, its prices are usually very high uh, because, you know, they carry a lot of stuff that not everybody purchases. And the thing is that, for instance, they have got a buy from Revised for $540 right now. And, you know, if you are watching this in the future, maybe three years from now, that could be the right price for a Revised to buy you. But currently it certainly isn't. But the thing is that I decided to take a look at uh, different cars that they've got, you know, and they do not really adjust their prices very quickly. And we recently had some big movement in Arabian Nights and they did not actually dramatically increase the price of these cards. And I, I thought it would be a really nice uh, way to, you know, uh, get some extra cards that I needed. So let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, first of all, I wanted to complete my play set and, uh, you know, just some extra cards. Uh, Spirit Shackle, I just remembered how much I... Loved this art when I played Chandelar and uh, yeah, it's it's not very good, but I don't know, could be playable wonder with. Have an idea for a deck based on hand control, so to say, and discard, so could be interesting. Also, Orc Generals, um, I could go for some kind of an extreme Orc Tribal deck and uh, these are certainly needed in here. Uh, Ragman. Again, I was talking about the idea of um, controlling something, controlling our player's hand, I don't know, having some interaction with that. Uh, an extra Goblin Hero, an extra Word of Binding again. Uh, look, the cards are in uh, rather nice condition, I would say. You know, the specifics of Russia is that we never had these cards here, and that is why most of them cost a lot, because they were imported. We never had these sets here, obviously, and the demand for them is, you know, almost non-existent. So, you know, I had to pay a premium to get these cards, but I, I got them real quick, which is important, especially nowadays with everything that is going on. And uh, they're also in a rather fine condition, I would say. Now I've got a play set of ghost ships, which I really like. Got a nether shadow, double sleeved actually, so they take care of the cards. This is a beta copy. Let's examine it. Mm, I think, well, the surface is not perfect, but but still, yeah, I, I, I think this is a really good copy for what it could be. This is certainly a Beautiful copy. The Nether Shadow from Beta. Another Beta card is Stone Rain. Destroys any one land. I absolutely love the big text on these old cards. The colors are so dark. It's a beautiful card. Uh, next we've got Artifact Possession, and you know, it's really interesting that I almost missed this particular card. I never got it for my collection, and I was going for the more expensive cards for the reserved list stuff, but I actually missed some of those, because I don't keep an Excel or, you know, a Google Doc file listing my whole collection, so I was actually wrong about the number of cards that I've got. Oh, here we have got this beautiful elephant graveyard card, uh, a card that I thought I would actually have to skip and not include into my collection, but 
the condition is actually really really good for such an old card I mean I don't really have a lot of high-end reserved leaves rares from Arabian Nights in such a good condition have to take it out of the sleeve to take a look wow it's beautiful it's beautiful well certainly one elephant graveyard is not enough for a pure mammoth or elephant deck but I should include it in some deck to just to have it and uh, these zombies are actually what we call alternate uh, fourth edition and we should actually have a separate um, video on that but one of the best signs to tell it from the usual you know fourth edition is by looking at this purple circle which should be a little bit more bluish than purplish and um, also you know how it reacts to light and overall I would say that this is a little bit more plain looking the colors are a little bit more plain and um, yeah so it, it, it's it's a you know whole different story but I wanted to have an alternate fourth edition card and Here's a good reason to do that, especially because I didn't have a playset of scathed zombies, so that is nice. An Alpha Pestilence, you know, again, I wonder how these things end up there, but this copy may have been sitting in their inventory for, you know, decade. I'm not even exaggerating, um, it's certainly possible. And they have adjusted the prices, but it's not that they're looking at a list of some kind of a shop it's not that they're copying let's say card kingdom or tcg or mkm um obviously they do turn a profit so point is that I, I think that everybody should take a look at some smaller local shops and uh, examine what cards they have got because these shops might be sitting on something that you would consider a treasure but people don't really have a lot of demand for that so it's always nice to explore and uh, see maybe you can get some nice bargains. Green Mana Battery, um, again, it was very frustrating that this is, again, one of the cards that I did not have. I almost said that my collection is over, I, I'm done with all cheap cards and the more expensive cards like Tabernacle and, let's say, The Abyss, even though they're very nice, I'm not going to get them in the nearest future. Definitely not this year, maybe not even next year, who knows what happens with the reserve list and such. So uh, I, I thought I had all, all the cheaper cards, but as I said, Artifact Possession I didn't have, Green Mana Battery I didn't have, I had all other Mana Batteries, but the green one I, I did not. So yeah, uh, the shop really saved me here. There's a bottle of Solomon Entity Pirate Ship. A really nice copy, uh, another Oriflame just for the playset, another Ifrit, so yeah again these are just duplicates. Unholy Strength, okay, and another topic um, for discussion if you know what I'm saying. Amro Kithkin, The Hive, revised this time. Guy's Leech was somehow put into the sleeve, that's a lot of respect for him, I appreciate it. Rock Hydra, Demonic Hordes, for the playset, I mean, nobody really needs a playset. Um, may maybe not a playset, maybe it's the third copy. I don't even think that the third copy is justifiable, but I, I really love this card. I love the art, these funny demons, I don't know. To me, they look more funny than scary, um, really atmospheric, nice. The Bodyguard. Another idea for a deck. The fourth or flame, reverse polarity. Another resurrection. And uh, these are, I think, the usual zombies, right? From revised. Let's try and compare them. Okay. Well, of course, it would be better to compare these from the fourth edition so we need some fourth edition black card for a reference. It would be even better. 
So this is the fourth edition card. Um, so you see that they're definitely different. You know, if I shuffle them, and uh, you can tell which one is the alternate edition, can't you? Guardian Angel, another card I was missing for my collection. But it's finally here. And the last one is Death Ward, nothing special. So there it is, once again I encourage everybody to take a look at what you have got in your local game store and it might be full of some nice surprises and uh, you know, may you also fill your collection. Thank you for watching, we will finally start some new videos, not the mail days because you might be tired of them by now and um, you know, I will showcase my collection and after that we'll talk about some fun decks that I have been brewing and testing. Bye!